Yo, what is going on, boys? It's been a long time since that's happened. Um, and it's been an even longer time since we've done one of these. What are we doing today, guys? Today, we're going to be reviewing Mystery Flavor G Fuel. So, I don't even know how long it's been since I've done a G Fuel review. I don't even know how long it's been since I've made an actual video. At least two months on both of those. Um, it's been forever. Um, but I figured, you know what? Why not throw it back? Uh, do something interesting like this. I haven't done something you know, like this in so long. So, might as well. Um, and I just want to see how this will do. How, what the response will be on this and that kind of thing. Um, it's been absolutely forever since I've seen all your guys' beautiful faces. Kissy kissy. Um, anyways, so today we're going to be reviewing this flavor and letting you know my honest opinion on it. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything by G Fuel, obviously. Um, so this is my Bahama Mama Shaker Cup. So it's not clear, obviously. Don't worry, don't bitch about it not being clear, okay? You can see the color when I pour it in this cup right here, which happens to be clear. So, anyways guys, it's been way too long since I've done anything like this. Um, so, mystery flavor, I have had it before. This is one of the newest flavors of G Fuel I've had. Um, it smells funky, I don't know why. This is like a brand new tub, pretty much. I've only had it a few times. Um, this is one of my newer flavors of G Fuel because uh, see, I bought this off my buddy Jason. You guys all know Jason. Uh, I think I just demoed him for it, like, over summer or something, just because he bought, like, two of them, and I was like, well, I'll buy the other one. I don't really buy G Fuel anymore, or, you know, I don't, like, ask for it much anymore, or whatever. I don't, I don't drink it as much anymore. Um, as you can see, though, we do have one scoop. Fill it up to the, uh... Fill it up to the line, not to the top. I put a little extra in, I guess. But I have five ice cubes and 16 ounces of water in here, as I always do it. So let me unscrew this. But yeah, I don't really buy their products anymore. They have so much out there, such a variety. They're really doing well um, as a business and whatever, and I'm super happy for it. But it's just not my thing anymore. If I'm going to drink an energy drink, I'm usually buying a Bang, a Monster, or something in a can now. So it is what it is. <laughs> Anyways. Here we go, pour it in there. Um, and they do have G Fuel cans and whatever, and so I, I can uh, buy those, but I never really do because I feel like the cans just aren't up to par with uh, Bang and Monster and all those kind of brands out there, and they're harder to find in stores around me. Um, and I just personally don't like the flavor as much anymore. They all kind of have like a medicine taste. I think I reviewed Sour Blue Chug Rug on the channel a long time ago. And that was the only can flavor I think I reviewed. Um, and I don't really care to do any more can uh, flavors or whatever. And I don't really want to review like bangs or anything like that. Just because that isn't really my thing. Um, and well, I guess it kind of is. But I just, I don't make videos anymore, as you guys know. So I don't know. Anyways, uh, my cheeks are swollen. I think I can notice that on the camera. Um, if you notice it, it's because I got my wisdom teeth taken out like three days ago. So I might sound a little funny, look a little funny. I mean, I always look fucking funny. Look at my fucking hair for gosh sakes. Anyways, um, let's get into shaking this up and we'll taste it, we'll review it, and then we'll be out of here, boys. So uh, welcome back to an OG Smart Bart video, guys. This is crazy. This is some wild shit right here. Anyways, let's shake this up. <laughs> Alright, we got this all shaken up, shook it up for about a minute. So now that it's all shaken up, we can get a smell test, review it, and we'll be out of here. So let's get a smell test. Mm. This flavor just reminds me of summer, and that might be because I first got it in summer. But the smell of it 
and taste of it just kind of reminds me of like just good times, good vibes in the summer. And so that's the same with Bahama Mama. I will like Bahama Mama always has just such a nostalgic taste in my mouth. Um, I love Bahama Mama and I wish I had more of it. Sadly, I don't and I'm out of it, but I absolutely love Bahama Mama to this day. Uh, solely because of the nostalgic flavor to it and everything. I think that's really awesome. So the smell of this is kind of like, I want to say like skittly. It's like kind of like a bag of Skittles or something. It's just kind of candy-ish, uh, sweet, kind of like vanilla as well, a little bit mixed in there. I haven't reviewed in so long, so my taste buds and everything are just gonna be so wild. Anyways, there's the color for you guys. So it's a cum white. Um, and what a nice way to put that one, Bart. <laughs> Um, so it's obviously like a, just a milky white, uh, mystery white, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Um, very similar color to like Ice Shatter, Phase X, a lot of other G Fuel flavors, coconut, whatever. Um, they use this color a lot, um, probably because it's like no artificial stuff. So this is like a lot of all natural shit of coloring and that kind of thing. So anyways, let's get a taste test of it. Hmm. 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 It's a lot different than I remember that, actually. It's a very, very, it's a lot more sweet than I thought it was uh, right at the beginning. So there's a lot more sweetness to it than I first remembered. It's just... But it's also a lot more, it's not as mysterious as I thought the flavor once was when I had it. It's kind of just a very generic flavor, actually. Um, it's just very sweet and very just vanilla-y. Like, it's just it's like a straight vanilla flavor. Um, yeah, that's literally all I'm getting out of this. It's just like a straight vanilla flavor. And I don't think I've ever really gotten that from this flavor before, so I don't know what's really... Uh, changer if anything but i'm just getting like a straight sweet good refreshing uh vanilla flavor and it tastes pretty good um it's i'd say it's got you know it's got a solid flavor it's not like too light or anything or um it's not overpowering either but i'd probably give it like a seven out of the 10, maybe 6.4 out of 10 somewhere in there it's pretty average um it doesn't wow me like some other flavors but it's pretty sweet it's pretty good um it's just i don't know it's got a solid flavor to it it's nothing really wrong with it honestly i know a lot of people said this tasted like like bananas or skittles or that kind of thing and i kind of leaned a lot more towards skittles i've never seen banana um as what this flavor could be um, I think they came out and said it's like a lychee berry in vanilla or something. So I guess the vanilla makes sense of what I'm, of why I'm tasting that. But I'm not necessarily sure. All in all though, it's pretty solid. Not bad at all. Um, it's a pretty average flavor. Um, I think that's going to do it. <laughs> uh, hopefully that was a quick enough review. If you guys want me to do any other kind of review on food drinks whatever just let me know dude seriously because i'm really open to it but i just i i need to see my energy when i edit this video and how this video compares to some of my previous videos and just see if i'm still the same content creating man i once was um that's probably sounds really weird but i just feel like so much has changed and i just i don't i just don't think there's a point where con where like my content will just ever get back to like what it was because i'm just growing up and changing and as we all are so anyways that's gonna do it this has been bart you know the return of of your king so yeah I will see you guys in the next one, whenever that may be. Uh, might be, you know, a week from now. It might be next fucking year. I'm not entirely sure. So, we'll see you guys. And, um, yeah, just stay happy. Um, you know, just keep vibing and whatever. I feel like I've said this for three fucking years now, but stay safe from the coronavirus. Um, 
and yeah, just always do you, man. Always. Always just do you. Do what you want. Pursue you. That's not being selfish. That's just, you know, you got to put yourself first. You got to. Anyways, that's going to do it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one, whenever that may be. And peace out.